How are you doing guys? Welcome back to the Bonville Cocktail Collection. Now by far the most popular video on the channel to date has been the gin cocktail video. So we thought it was about time to give you volume two. All right guys, first up we're gonna make one of the most iconic gin aperitif cocktails, the Negroni. We might have made a version of this in one of our other videos, but this is the classic version. So we're gonna make this in the glass. So we need a chilled rum glass. It's gonna fill with nice dry cold ice. Uh, first up, we're gonna use 25 mils of sweet vermouth. You can use a little bit less if you want, but just make sure all the ingredients are the same measurement. And then 25 mils of Campari. And of course, our gin. Same amount. That's it. Just gonna give that a stir. Check that for dilution. Perfect. Top with a bit more ice if necessary. And finally, we'll go and set with a nice big orange zest. Just do that over the drink to make sure you get all the zest and the oils. And that is a Negroni. All right, next up, we've got another gin classic from the early 1900s. This is called Aviation. I'm gonna start with lemon juice, 20 ml. And then we're gonna go equal parts of Luxardo Maraschino liqueur, so 20 ml. So you can play with that ratio a little bit, uh, depending on your taste. And 50 ml of our gin. That's it. Some early recipes use a product called creme de violette. I don't think it adds much to the drink, just changes the colour slightly and adds a slightly floral tone to it, but it's quite hard to find and this is just as good without. So we're going to shake this one up, nice hard shake. And we're going to strain that into a chilled cocktail glass. In fact, we can fine strain it. So you can either use a lemon zest to garnish this. I quite like the cherry, so we'll just pop a cherry in there. And that is the aviation. All right guys, next up we're gonna make one of my personal favorites and this dates back to the 1890s new bartender manual from Harry Johnson. This is a drink called the Bijou. We're actually gonna make a slightly later version from the Savoy cocktail book. It's a stir drink. So take a mixing glass filled with ice. And our first ingredient is sweet vermouth. Just want 20 wheels of that. Next up, green chartreuse. 20 wheels of that. Then our gin. 25 mils. And finally, some orange bitters. A couple of dashes of that. That's it, we'll give that a good stir. Dilution. Perfect. So we strain that into a chilled cocktail glass. And we'll finish it off again with a cherry. And that is the bijou. All right, now we're going to make a drink called the South Side. Uh, this is supposed to date back to the Prohibition era in uh, the South Side of Chicago. Very simple drink to make. We're just going to start off with some lime juice, 20 mils, at equal parts. 
sugar syrup. As always, you can play around with those ratios, depending on if you want it sweeter or more sour. Uh, gin, let's use 50 mils. And last but not least, just some mint. So take a nice big sprig of mint, pick off the leaves. You want like five or six leaves, as always with mint, just give it a quick slap to release the aromas, and we're going to shake that up. And we will double strain that into a nice chilled cocktail glass. We'll strain this one especially because you don't want all the little bits of mint that would have been broken up in the shaking process. That's that. Now I should have said earlier, if you keep one of the like little tendered leaves on top of your mint sprig, you can save that for garnish, you just float that on top of the drink. And that's the south side. All right guys, we've saved one of the best till last, and this is another one of my favorites. Uh, and again, it's the Prohibition era cocktail, and this is called the Bee's Knees. Simple ingredients, uh, honey syrup. So this is just honey that we've watered down. So two parts honey to one part water, 20 mils of that. And the same amount of lemon juice, freshly squeezed, of course, and our gin. And that's it. Just shake that up. And we'll find straight that into a chilled cocktail glass. Garnish that with a nice big lemon zest. And that's the bees' knees. That's it guys, thanks for joining us for another five of our favorite gin cocktails. And thanks as always for your support with your comments and likes. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share, and we'll see you next time. My fucking eyebrows are starting to go mental in my old age, literally like f***ing beast. How are we doing guys and welcome back to the Bongo Cockhouse. <laughs> <laughs> so we thought it was about time to give you volume two. What's wrong with your f***ing finger?